The EU has never been more visible, the EU has never been more politicized, and the EU has never been more interesting. Uh, think of challenges to the global trade system, think of foreign policy, think of security, but also think of key EU policies. I mean, one of the classes that I will teach in the next semester is called the EU in the world. So that's this idea that the EU is not just a large internal market, but an actor that relates to all kinds of countries outside. I think of European governance always as a magnifying class. All the problems that we have in global governance, you can study at the example of European governance. So studying the EU and studying it in Berlin is actually great because a lot of EU policies is made in the capital. So a lot is being discussed discussed and done in Berlin, so really being in the midst of it uh, in this great city is, is a fantastic opportunity. Um, and of course at the Hurti School you have really, really good uh, professors and the Jack Law Center with really great experts. So today we actually recorded um, a podcast episode for our eu to go podcast and we had the State Minister for Europe um, as a guest and we talked about what is going to happen now politically. The Jacques Delors Center uniquely combines academic research and policy work. And the policy work that I'm engaged in is one of a think tank where we really want to influence the debate on EU policy issues in Berlin. At the European Central Bank, I was heading the division that was responsible for the relationships between the ECB and the EU institutions. So in my course, I focus on economic and financial governance and I bring in my own experience at the Central Bank where I worked for 20 years on issues that are linked to economic and financial governance. One key way for us as a think tank to engage with students are our events, where we invite commissioners, key politicians to speak on EU policy issues. And in fact, often I get feedback from the guest speakers that they really appreciated the dialogue with the students. At Harty, we have really great students. I think one of the aspects of that is they don't just want to know what's in a textbook from 10 years ago. They want to follow current topics and they want to follow them in a way that's new and innovative and cutting edge. They want access to the best research. And I think therefore it's our obligation as their teachers and lecturers to ensure that the best research we're doing also is transmitted into the way in which we teach. What is really unique about the course here at Herty is that you get to work not only with academic but also with people who work in practice. So the law of the European Union and governance of the European Union that you learn about is no longer dry and you see how it becomes relevant in your daily work and for your future careers. I am a referent there at the Court of Justice of the European Union. Unlike the Commission, who is the political actor, unlike the Parliament and Council, who take very long to decide on legislation, our court decides cases for individuals. EU law has direct effect, and that means that EU law is immediately applicable and protects uh, individuals' rights. At the Herty School, I teach European Union law and governance. In this course, I cover everything from EU institutions, the current crisis that the EU is facing, and there is always a specific focus of the Court of Justice. So we discuss these issues in a very interactive manner, so I always hope that you read the news, that we can discuss current events. The Herty School is a member of the Civica Alliance. Civica is a European higher education alliance that comprises of 10 different universities that generally deal with questions of social sciences across many different countries of the European Union. These universities come together, not only at the faculty level, but also at the student level, to create exchange of ideas and debates also among the different student bodies. There is always the possibility to present your own ideas to fellow students from different universities, to build up projects, to build up bridges. Future EU was founded at the Herty School and the idea comes from the relevance of student voices on the debate for the future of Europe. This proposal, some of these very creative ideas, I think now are even being discussed in think tanks, in academic debates and at the European level. I think that now is a great time to study the EU because the EU is at a moment where a lot is changing. The thing that made this stream so um, special was particularly a class about um, negotiation where we did a simulation of the council. And in that class, I felt like I got so much hands-on experience. It's all about winning and giving people the impression that it is about compromise. That's very cynical. Uh, I, I'll give a slightly different version. European negotiations are about finding compromise 
in which uh, everybody can claim a part of the part of the success. So we can't have losers because losers will make life difficult for us tomorrow and next week. I would definitely recommend it. And I think for me, the two reasons were that you gain all the different insights into EU policy making you want. You get the basics, but you also can focus on any policy area. Second, I think what I really enjoyed was the combination of academia and actual policy making or real life EU politics. It was a great experience and I learned so much new about the European Union, but also it was a great way to bring people from all over Europe together and discuss how EU policies are influencing our day-to-day -day life.